Laura and I sat down last night and just looked at each other and said, it is crazy how many of you are out here. Um, it, it is just so exciting to have such good family and friends, to have you know, nearly 100 people come out and, and wish us well and, and try and have the best party ever later. It's, it's overwhelming really, so thank you to all you guys. We are so, so grateful. I knew from the very moment I laid eyes on you that I wanted you to be my forever. Some way, somehow, I was determined to make you mine. I'm genuinely so excited to become your husband. There are an infinite number of things that are amazing about you. Today, surrounded by the people who love us, I choose you, Lauren, to be my wife. I promise to always be your biggest fan, and if I have to support you, push you, inspire you, and above all else, love you. To never take our love for granted and to show you every time it means me. You're my favourite person, my family, my one true love. There's still a part of me that can't believe I get to marry you. So today I take you as my husband, my best friend and partner for life. I give you my hand, my heart and my love from this day forward for as long as we shall live. I promise. <laughs> Anyway, the next couple of days, pieces of the jigsaw began to slowly fall into place. Who is actually staying on the top floor of the chalet? Who was it that had 250 beers that afternoon? <laughs> Who was it that insisted we have that extra bottle of toffee vodka? And who would force their partner to lie on their behalf <laughs> to pervert the course of justice? just so that their pride and ego remained intact. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the culprit that day. It was your groom today, Mr. Matthew Robert Elwood. <laughs> <laughs>